I wanted to shoot this uh, quick little video and kind of explain something. Uh, each texture is different. When you're doing repairs, uh, this is just a standard lace texture. You can see the wall. Uh, standard, pretty standard lace uh, up here in Northern California anyways. Uh, but the base coat, if you can see all these little chatter marks here. So the base coat was not done with a green float. Um, and that's where you can see all these little chatter marks here. Um, those are the straight lines that go across. Uh, and that's important because when you're matching textures, I don't want to green float that like we typically would for the base coat. You want to trowel it on to match what they have there. If I were to green float it, it would come out totally different. Here's a patch I did, and as you can see, I kind of troweled it um, to kind of match what they have. So I got these, uh, got the little lines in there, the chatter marks to match what they have. And then when I texture this now, the uh, existing, and then the patch, it's gonna match much better. So, to kind of illustrate my point a little bit more, this area here, I just used a, a green float, and you can see the texture is much different than that one there. Uh, chances are when you finish it, you probably wouldn't notice it, but these are the little things that really make uh, a patch that much better and blend in uh, much better overall when it's finished. That's gonna conclude this video. That's just one of those, uh, one more of those things to look out for if you are getting a stucco repair. So thanks for watching.